Over here we have Baby. He's been tied up for a bit now, and uh, this wasn't intended as an example, but I think it's a great example to show how camels really can't be stalled, how intelligent they are, and how easily they are uh, bored. Hold on, I've got to step back. Um, obviously this isn't an ideal place to tie a horse or any animal. It's got that tree there. Um, but this will just show you by fact that I need, need to tie him up. And it is good to do it sometimes for practice. Hold on, that's the new dog. <coughs> Quiet. I don't think he's really seen a camel before and he's pretty excited about what's going on. You can also see probably here in a moment because I think uh, he's about to urinate. He's kind of spread his back legs. That, that camels actually urinate backwards. That sugar tree. This may seem like a weird video, but I promise you, it's not. It is very weird. Think about it. Camels urinate backwards because normally you urinate, or at least maybe I hope so, you urinate the other way. And usually he will uh, completely freeze your halter twisted baby when he does that and uh, then he'll go back to whatever he's doing. He just kind of takes a minute there. He's uh, ruminating for a second. And then you'll probably see him start to pull or mess with one of these bins or with the bowl that is empty now but had his uh, supplements for the day. Now he's been out here for a while. This is not normal. Like I said, it's good to teach them patience and practice but this shouldn't be a regular thing. Still ruminating. Do you see that look in his eye? He is angry at me because his anticipation was that I was going to walk over right away and untie him. And that kind of, I call it red eye, that he gave is a thing that you will see in camels when they go into rut when they're not castrated. And it's one of the first signs that you'll see that you are in trouble. There's a normal, softer look when I stood up. You can see the kind of whites of his eyes. He's getting annoyed. I'm gonna untie him and uh, we'll see what he does. He was probably going to bolt. Are right, you ready to go? Normally I lead him back in his pen, but for the purpose of the video, we're just gonna unhook him here. And keep in mind I'm carrying a camera so everything is a little bit harder to do one-handed. You're out, baby. That's Dasher in the background. Now he's got, go, he can go anywhere on the property right now. So let's follow him and see what he does. Um, if you saw my other video from last month, we rented a dumpster and we're clearing the property. That's why everything's still kind of a complete mess. The dogs heard someone passing by. Chombi will alert and the rest of them will go. Everyone but Lorne. Okay, if you can see clearly, my camera won't focus, is busy playing with buttermilk. Okay, fed nesting, we've got baby back here. Just, I mean, look what he's doing to this tree. You're destroying it. Not just eating the leaves, eating the entire thing. And that is the primary reason that I don't have him just on the whole of the property. Um, he's in his own pasture because of the destruction. Go on, baby, move up, move up. I'm going to show you again how um, a camel or any animal really should move away from pressure with just a touch. Come on. Come on. Get going. Get going. Just one, just two fingers. It shouldn't take any more because if it has to take more, you're not going to be able to move a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred pound animal. Now they haven't had contact in probably six, eight hours because baby has been tied up. Just follow him. He's going this way. I'm going to kind of try to escort him. Ah, no lead rope. Back, 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 ah, ah, ah. I use ah for right, ah. Pen, 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 pen. He's pretty much trained on vocal command and the new dog is really stirring them up about, you want to see, about what that is. Baby could care less. Hat, come here. Come here. Max, 
Max? Max? Leave it. Come here. Max. Leave it. Okay. That's Valentine behind me. Ball rays, uh, lambs don't have a mom, so they're constantly, basically I don't really like to do it. Unless it's be really quiet here for a moment. What got everyone riled up is Dasher got separated from her twin lambs and I want them to be able to hear each other. They just found each other. I think they're gonna meet over on this side. We'll wait a minute. The uh, dog run was separating the fact that uh, she wasn't able to see them. Let's see if they... And there's two, so it's double the trouble. Let's see if Dasher was successful. Here comes that wind again. She got them both back. Excellent, excellent mother. Okay, now that that was mostly sorted, and uh, well, half the herd's still divided, but Dasher got her lambs back. We're gonna try to find baby. Now you might think a uh, big camel would be easy to find, but. I'm gonna pan now, see if you can spot him. <coughs> hey Dasher, do you see baby anywhere? Now did you see him with that pan? Do you see him now? Okay, what about now? He's right there. This is killing a lot of camels. Be really careful in Australia because they're eating these plastic bags and they're getting stuck in their gut. So I have to make sure the yard is very clean. They love to eat plastic. It's, a, it's actually a really big problem. Put these in my pocket. Walking him back, uh, again by vocal command. It's getting kind of late now, and we're going to put him back in with Nessie. Here's the borderline where the fence broke. Baby, ho! Baby, come on! Baby, pan up! Now he's back, and we're gonna finish repairing the fence. What do you think, Valentine? Are you gonna help? Now it's quiet and calm, and uh, everyone is back where they're supposed to be. Um, it's probably about 6:20 now, based on the sun over that mountain, and everything that was causing the commotion. Uh, baby being loose, uh, different things, uh, Dasher being separated from her twins has been resolved and uh, this is the point where about for the next 30 minutes I'll play really hard with Lorne uh, and the dogs. Sit Lorne, sit, sit, sit. You ready Lorne? I can't really carry for the camera for this so I'm gonna say goodnight and if you have any questions just go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get to them either through text or video. All right, I'm coming in. <laughs>